I don't care that it's getting better. <laughs> my flight's still canceled, but glad to hear it's getting a little better. My calculations, better. about 6,000 angry people with the 600 flights, oh. probably yeah. ballpark it yeah. there on that. But At least. Uh, our weather looks really good heading into the weekend. Nice. We're going to get uh, some sunshine, milder temperatures, and a cold front on Saturday morning. The clouds have returned to the skies. Uh, this morning it was sunny, but those have moved in from the west. It's a sheet of stratus clouds overhead. These are mid level clouds 62 out an east breeze at 13 miles per hour and you see all that gray on the satellite imagery moving in from the west. So the clouds will insulate us tonight. It's not going to be quite as chilly overnight. Temperatures in the 60s for the most part. Rockport Fulton coming in at 59. And we've got a northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So the clouds moving in from the west up in San Antonio and into Austin parts of the hill country. This rain here. Some of that was actually sleet. This is all the sleet reports that we see right there in central Texas, and that is from this upper level feature we talked about yesterday spinning through the state. So uh, that provided the lift for the showers up in central Texas. This will continue to move off to the east, and as it progresses farther east, we will get drier air in here. Should arrive sometime late in the day on Wednesday, so the clouds will start to decrease and and with that drier air filtering in, we're going to be lined up for some sunny delights. One on Thursday, another one on Friday. A cold front then moves in Saturday morning. There may be a few little showers as it passes. Temperatures then stay in the mid to low 60s on Saturday, and it looks like we'll stay uh, in the low 60s here on Sunday in the wake of this front. So it looks like a Saturday morning arrival, a few brief showers with it. Don't think we see really anything more than a tenth of an inch of rain mid to low 60s in the afternoon and the winds are going to be gusting up around 30 to 40 miles per hour behind this front. So we're going to have those mid 70s beautiful weather days on Thursday and Friday. Front comes in early Saturday, keeps us in the mid to low 60s on Saturday and Sunday. Overnight low is going to be chilly uh, on Sunday morning near 40, upper 30s on Monday morning with the gradual warming trend into the first parts of next week. Clouds tonight going to keep us and buffer us from the 30s and 40s. We'll stay in the upper 40s and low 50s by tomorrow morning. There will be a little chance for a rogue sprinkle tomorrow morning. I don't think really much for accumulation, if at all, just a few drops on the ground. Temperatures stay close to 60 and we'll see a little bit of late afternoon sunshine with the clouds trying to get out of here more likely in the interior parts of the K triple I viewing area on Wednesday. Wednesday night it gets clear blanket removed back into the 40s on Thursday morning and we'll get sunnier with highs in the mid 70s on Thursday afternoon. Tonight it's going to be chilly but not as cold as last night. We'll stay right around 50 overnight under the cloudy skies. Tomorrow we're going to top out in the low 60s again. A spotty morning sprinkle, not enough to really warrant rain gear tomorrow. Low 60s, it'll be cool and cloudy with a few pops of late afternoon sunshine. If you're out on the water, water temperatures are cool. 57 light chop out there with the northeast wind 5 to 15 knots. Mid 70s, a pair of sunny delights Thursday, Friday. Cold front Saturday morning brings the wind with it and temperatures get seasonally cool again. Mid to low 60s Saturday and Sunday and more nice weather into early next week. If you happen to have Monday off for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Leslie, Mike. All right, thanks for that.